Life's good, getting old now, so what? Things changing, I guess I gotta grow up Nothing better than having your first headline show Coming out and the whole town shows up But it's just not how it used to be And that brainwash not getting through to me I go to school, yeah, I got a job But could really care less if my shoes are clean now Let's build a fan base from the ground up Cause to beat the odds, you gotta round up Nowadays, everybody too stiff Nice job, got cash, but forgot how to have fun Hey, what is up, guys? Kid from Sunset Park, and I am back. And uh, I know I took a little five-day break, and you guys are probably wondering, where did I go? What did I do over the five-day period where I didn't upload? And I had plans to upload. I had plans to do a lot of editing and get some videos out because my hard drive is full of Black Ops 2 gameplays and my theater mode. So I want to start pushing them out more to you guys and start, you know, getting videos out there because, you know, I think I should just clear out my hard drive one and just put out more videos too. But uh, I got bogged down over the week with uh, a lot of testing in school. Not just, you know, school <clears throat> individual class tests, but, you know, standardized tests. I took the HESPA, which is the New Jersey um, standardized test, which makes you actually, which gives you the ability to graduate high school if you uh, pass. If you don't pass, you have to k take it again and actually uh, take it as many times as you need until you pass and then you'll get your uh, high school uh, diploma so I had to take that so I had to be prepared for that I had to be in a good state of mind I had to you know get rest and stuff like that that sort of deal the stuff that they tell you to do before you take a standardized test so it was pretty easy some parts were more difficult than others but that's expected with these type of tests but uh, today actually Saturday uh, depends on when you're watching this um, I had to take the uh, SATs. I was going to say HESPAs again, but I had to take the SATs, and uh, this is my first time taking the SATs, and they were pretty difficult. Some parts of them were pretty difficult, and other parts were really easy, really common knowledge. Uh, it just depends, one, on how well of a test taker you are, if you get nervous under pressure of uh, a big test like this, or if you're just not, you know, that well suited when taking tests, but um, basically, I'm just going to tell you basically how to survive and how to get through the six hours that the SATs are of sitting in one desk and not moving. That was the most, you know, overwhelming part for me was not moving, and uh, I'm very antsy. I'm a very antsy person. I, I like to move around a lot. I can't stand sitting still for extended periods of time like that. So, sitting in a desk for six hours was, you know, a little uneasy, but uh, I, you know, fought through it, and I think I did pretty well. Hopefully, I did pretty well, but um, basically, first thing you got to do to get ready for the SATs is you got to study, and I took it for granted one, but there are a lot of questions that I know if I studied on that I would have done much better on, that I would have, you know understood more uh, sentence structure questions uh, finding the errors though though those type of things I would have done much better on if you know I kind of opened up the SAT book that you're you know you're supposed to get so you can study in and do stuff like that that's the first thing definitely study for them definitely you know get your knowledge about how they score the test and stuff like that because it will help you and uh, don't cram the night before when taking the test because you're gonna go in there with a lot of thoughts in your mind the best thing to do is what I did last night um, relax lay in your bed or whatever wherever you fall asleep you know watch some TV go on your laptop or whatever your tablet you know your smartphone just relax go on Twitter or whatever you guys got and just you know clear your head clear your thoughts and then get some rest the important thing is to get some rest um, I'm not you know very fond of you know I love sleeping but I can't you know go to bed early but I had to force myself to go to bed like 11 o'clock which is pretty early for me I know but um you know, I had to force myself to go to bed at that time so I can get up at 6.30 and actually be ready and mentally prepared for the SATs, which I was. I had to wake up at 6.30, which was uh, pretty early for me on a Saturday. I usually wake up at 12.30, 1 o'clock. But uh, another thing is definitely have a, a nice breakfast, a good meal. Um, it'll give you, you know, energy, and it'll make your brain start working. It'll start kicking in your brain uh, to do long problems and sitting in a desk for six hours. Um... And trust me when I say have protein with your breakfast too, because protein, you know, it wakes up the muscles, it wakes up, you know, just it gets you ready for to take a test. That you take some uh, carbs, some pancakes, or whatever you guys want to eat with your breakfast, uh, waffles, and those two acting together will, you know, they'll pu they'll wake you up and you know have an energy bar or whatever you guys have, and uh, you know wake yourself up a little bit. 
But another thing is, <clears throat> definitely when you go into the test, don't take it lightly. Don't think that, you know, of course you can take it more than one time, uh, but don't go in there thinking that this is the only time you're going to take it because it is suggested that you take it more than once. However, if I get an, well, it's ranked out of a 2400 if you guys didn't know that. So if I get an 1800 plus, uh, which allows me to get accepted into a lot of colleges that I'm looking at, I'm going to. I'm not going to take it again. So I'm hoping I get an 1800 plus uh, because that will put me at a good level to get accepted into colleges that I'm looking at, and hopefully I get to visit over spring break. Hopefully I could do a couple of vlogs there. Uh, that would be sick. But um, you know, an 1800 plus would get me in a good you know frame to uh, get accepted to some colleges that I'm looking at, and it's pretty exciting. Uh, junior year, if you're going into junior year next year, or if you're a junior or a freshman, or you're not even in high school yet. Um, junior year in high school is the most hectic time you're going to have uh, between, you know, a bunch of standardized tests, graduate, uh, thinking about colleges, thinking about graduating, what you're going to do with your life. You also have to tack on SATs, and it just adds to the stress of the year. And me, I, I've doubled up on classes, which basically means I have two sciences and two histories for extra credit, so colleges look at that as a better thing, something like that. And uh, it adds a lot of work, and I'm loaded with work a lot. So if I don't upload, you know, I try to be reasonable and upload when I can because, you know, I love uploading to YouTube. It's something that I really enjoy doing. But again, I'm bogged down with work and hopefully next week I get to, you know, just have an easy week. My teachers just take it easy on me and they don't bombard me with work. But uh, that's the video for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed. I will be uploading tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Again, if you really like the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And if you truly did, des did deserve it, don't forget to add it to your favorites. But Kid from Sunset Park, I'm out. Peace.